So this is part three of color mixing and we are going to be dealing with the color brown. Now we've gone through the basics of color mixing, we've gone through tint, tone, and shade, and now we're getting into where we're going to combine these two ideas along with combining three colors. So with the combining colors we're only doing two colors and then the tint, tone, and shade we're taking either these colors that we have mixed already or straight out of the bottle and we're adding a tint, a tone, or a shade to give us a darker or lighter for highlights and lowlights. So mixing brown is a three color mixing. And essentially you're taking the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and mixing them together. But depending on the proportions of each color, you're going to have different types of brown. And sometimes they end up even looking purple, black, green, or something along those lines. So being able to mix the ratios together so that the colors come out right, so that your brown comes out right. If your brown is looking a little bit too green, you're gonna add red. If your brown's looking a little too purple, you're gonna add yellow. If your brown's looking a little too orange, you're gonna add blue. So you're going to be adding what's known as the complementary color of whatever color your brown is leaning to. And the complementary is simply the crisscross color on the color wheel. So if it's a primary color, like red, yellow, or blue, you're gonna mix a secondary color like orange, green, or purple. So what my students have found is that making purple and adding yellow typically results in a brown that they desire the most. But depending on the brown that you're going to make, you're trying to figure out the balance. So if this brush is where my brown is, if it's leaning this way, then you need to bring it back this way. If it's leaning this way, you need to bring it back that way. So brown is about balancing the colors in a matter of what color of brown you want to make. So during the fall, you notice that there's a lot of browns. In fact, a lot of people will think of it as a very dead time of year, which essentially it is. But if you really look closely to the different browns that are out there, you'll find that there's a lot of different browns. And the reason being is you are taking essentially all the colors and mixing them in different proportions to get this brown. So brown is a pretty amazing color and gives you a very wide breadth of different colors that you can make with it. So depending on those browns that you want to achieve, you're gonna add more or less of any of these colors and you might even be adding the white, gray, and black to tint, tone, and shade them. So if you think about it, brown is probably one of the widest spectrums of color because of the fact that it uses all the colors. And when we're doing color mixing, we might only be using two colors and a tint, tone, and shade at most. So this is the basics of making brown. So for the last part of this project, you're going to use six of these squares on the bottom of your color mixing swatch, and you are going to make six different colors of brown, either leaning farther to the purple, orange, green, red, yellow, or blue. So this is the basics of making brown. Do more, do better.